everyone and welcome back to the Evil's Dynasty. Today I am going to be playing week 11 on the road against the Hexon Oilers. A team that I played way back in season 1 and that I played at home. So I haven't played them in their stadium before. And if I recall correctly, this is a team I handled with ease way back in Season 1. So I don't know how this game's going to turn out today, but I am not going to underestimate anybody. Let's look at the, uh, let's take a quick look at the standings real quick. As typically I like to do this late in the season to start off uh, videos in case you're kind of new to the series because the uh, the playoff chase is fun to track or at least for me anyway and uh, I assume it's fun to track for some of you watching so that's why I do it the independent division in the mutants conference might produce a team that goes to the playoffs with a losing record. They very well might. They very well might. As I do not have to play the Motor City Maniacs or the Midway Mutants. And I played the Purple Mutant Eaters last week at home. And as you can see, because my winning streak and their winning or their streak. And my streak, uh, I beat them, so. But yeah, so, as a reminder, in two weeks from now is the Monday night game that I have scheduled. Well, the game has scheduled, but still. The week 13 game is a Monday night game. Even though I'm reminding you guys so much right now, somebody's going to go, Oh, I didn't know it was Monday night. It's like, but I told you every single week. But, oh well. Go on the road to play the Hexon Oilers. A team that... I would actually love to... Well... I wouldn't mind losing to the Oilers and beating the Colts because that would give the Oilers a big leg up in their divisional race, but I would rather win. I, I would prefer to just win both games and just leave it at that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to kick off to start the game. Because, like I said, last the last couple weeks, the ideal situation is to have the lead at the start of the second half, or at halftime, and then getting the ball to start the second half. That is definitely the ideal scenario, and one that I love. Snake Helly will kick off now for the Evils to start the game. And it's a good deep kick. Sends Gorgonzola to the two. Breaks a couple tackles and he'll be down at the 25 yard line. As he broke two but he couldn't break free of three tacklers. First down and ten. They will line up in the, in the gun to start this game. Heinous, heinous kills. Runs the option for only a gain of one on the play. Backup quarterback in the game now as they send a man in motion. Rabid blood stun. Gets six yards on the play to make it a second down and three. Single back in the backfield. For the Oilers. Bloodstone's got it. He breaks free. And he is to midfield. 
Foreign Oilers first down. Asseler will line up in the gun. He will throw. And it's deflected and incomplete. The other receiver was more open than that, though, but it's incomplete anyway. Rabbit blood stun. And he doesn't get anything as he gets taken down at the line of scrimmage. And that will bring up third down and ten. Kills to throw. And it's deflected and incomplete. And so that will bring up fourth down. And Tyrant Eagle is back deep to return this punt. He's standing at about his own five-yard line. And it's a good punt. He'll take it at the 21. And he gets taken down there as he couldn't... As he had too, much, too many people around him. But he gained a yard on the return. First down and 10 for the Evils. Dukem will throw against a blitz. He's got Painwell wide open as a result. And he gets all the way out to midfield for a 28-yard gain on the play. As Callus Goddard is injured for the Evils. First down and 10, they will line up in the spread. Uh, Painwell in motion clears the backfield for Dukem. Dukem throws Painwell on a screen. He gets a good block and he gets knocked out of bounds after a 13 yard gain. And that will bring up a first down and 10 for the Evils. And Desmond Sting is dead for the Oilers. And Menace Painwell is injured for the Evils. File Slanders in the game at running back. Dukem against another Blitz. Slanders is wide open as a result. He breaks a tackle and he's gone. Touchdown Evils. 38-yard touchdown reception for Slenders. As DeCarcus Stalker, War Slam, and Crust and Bleed are all injured for the Oilers. They will line up to go for two. Dukem will throw. Nutsack Hertz has got the two. And the Evil's taken eight. Nothing lead here over the Oilers. Snake Helly will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good deep kick. Sends Gorgonzola to the two. He's to the 25. Breaks a tackle and he is down right there at the 25. And that is where the Oilers will begin their second drive of the game. Man in motion, blood stun, breaks a few tackles, but he can only gain a yard on the play. That will bring up second down and nine. They will line up in the gun. Kills will throw. And it's deflected and incomplete as he was looking for branded crooks. And he couldn't find him there, and that will bring up third down and nine. Bloodstun in motion clears the backfield for kills. He will throw, and it's deflected and incomplete. As he was looking for Crooks again, and Psycho Mullins is dead for the Oilers. And so that will bring up a quick fourth down now. As Tire Eagle is back deep to return this punt. And he'll return it from his own 21. He's to the 40. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 40. He's to the 35, 30, 25. And he is down 
at the Oilers 25 yard line. And an awesome, awesome punt return. And that sets Philadelphia up at the Oilers 24. First down and 10, Dukem will throw. There's Reaper, and he gains two yards on the play. First down and 10, they will line up in the pistol. And that's the end of the first quarter, as it is Evil's eight, Oilers nothing. Second down and eight, they will line up in the pistol again. Dukem on the option, he will run. And he gets taken down after a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down and three. Or third down and three, excuse me. Third down, Goddard with the catch. And he can only gain two yards as he is stopped short. And that will bring up fourth down and one. Decision time for Philadelphia. They will line up to go for it. Dukem hands off. Painwell, and he's got a first down. And he's got a first down and goal at the one yard line. As Menace Painwell is injured on the play for the Evils. And Brolthen Greenworth, Monty Bronson, and Dakarkis Stalker are all injured for the Oilers. First down and goal from the one. Slanders in the game at running back. Dukem hands it off to him, and he's got a touchdown. But there's going to be a penalty flag down, and this will go against the Evils. And that will wipe the touchdown off the board. Brolthen Greenwrath is dead for the Oilers on the play. And Philadelphia will attack the ref, which will incur another penalty flag. <laughs> and so that will push them back another 15 yards. And so it is now first down and goal at the 26. Dukem, he'll be sacked on the play. War Slam got in there, and he sacks Dukem. Whalen Hurts will check into the game at quarterback. They will line up in the pistol. Hurts against the blitz. He will throw. He's going deep, and he's got Reaper. No, it got knocked out and incomplete. as Shamu Kruger Kill is dead on the play for the Oilers. Third down and 32 coming up. Or third down and goal from the 32. They will line up in the pistol. Hurts pitches it to Slenders. He's to the 25, he's to the 20, breaks a tackle. He's to the 10, breaks some more tackles, and he's gone! Touchdown, Evils! A 32-yard rushing touchdown for Slenders, and they extend their lead. As Terror Bitchell is dead for the Oilers. They will line up for the extra point. It's a fake, Hurts, and Elliot drops it. Elliot dropped it. Elliot will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good deep kick. Sends Gorgonzola to the two, where he'll take it. He's to the 25, he's to the 30, breaks a tackle. 
And he is out to the 33 yard line. As Tr Dangerous Fright is dead on the play for the Evils. First down and 10, man in motion now. Rapid blood stun is stopped by, by Ash for only a gain of two on the play. Motion clears the backfield for kills. He will throw. And it's going to be a first down as he scrambles out for a gain of 10. First down and 10. Man in motion as they line up in the pistol. Rabbit Clubstun is stopped for only a gain of one by Claret Kilsum. Second down and nine as the two minute warning comes up. Rabbit blood, blood stun. He's into the secondary and he gets taken down at the 40. And Rabbit blood stun is dead on the play and heinous kills or heinous kills is injured for the Oilers. Timeout Oilers with 148 to go in the half. Tyrod Astler in the game at quarterback. Backup running back in the game now. And the pass is deflected and incomplete. As Claret kills some Bustin' Heavens and Dying Ghoul are all dead for the Evils. And Brandon Crooks is injured for the Oilers. Second down and 10. They will line up in the gun. Hex Brickhead, he fumbles! And Slameron Slayward takes down their center as Hex Brickhead and Rustin Grit are dead for the Oilers. But that will bring up a first down and 10 from the 20. Man in motion clears the backfield for Asseler, who will throw. He's looking deep, and it's deflected and incomplete. Virus Decay making the big play. Second down and 10 now. Man in motion for the Oilers. Rolls Royce gets it, and he breaks a couple tackles, and he gets to the nine yard line. Timeout, Oilers. Man in motion as Adler on the option. He breaks the tackle and he scores. But there's gonna be a penalty flag down and this will go against the Oilers. And so you can wipe the touchdown off the board. And they will attack the ref, which will incur another penalty flag. That will push them back another 15 yards on the play. And so that will make it first down and goal from the 34. Asseler to throw, and it's intercepted! Heaven Bronson intercepts it at the 25-yard line! And a crucial interception for the Evils. First down and 10, they will line up in the pistol with 48 seconds to go in the half. Dukem will throw, he's got pain well. A couple tackles and he's to midfield. Kill it over here calls a timeout. First down and ten at midfield. Dukem will throw. There's Goddard. 
And he gains nine yards up to the 42 yard line as Nuke Dukem is injured on the play for the Evils. They need about five more yards to get Elliott into range now. Waylon Hurts will check into the game at quarterback. They will line up in the pistol. Hurts on the option. And they've got five yards on the play for a first down. And they will wind the clock down and call a timeout with four seconds to go in the half. Philadelphia will line up for a 51-yard field goal. It's up. He's got the leg, and it's good. Elliott from 50 and 51 yards. And Philadelphia extends their lead right before halftime. And at the end of the first half, it is Evil's 19, Oilers nothing. That was a big, big touchdown that got called back for the Oilers. Otherwise, it could very well be 14 to 7 as opposed to 19 to nothing. That was a 12 point swing. And Philadelphia will get the ball to start the second half. As Slammer on Slayward has played well today. Tyrant Eagle is back deep to return this kick to start the second half. He'll take it from the 12, working his way to the 30, to the 35. Breaks a tackle, and he gets knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. As Tyrant Eagle is injured on the play for the Evils. And so the Evils will begin the second half with good field position. Dukem will throw against another blitz. And Waylon Reaper gets three yards on the catch. Second down and seven. They will line up in the pistol. Dukem will run on the option. Breaks a tackle. And he is up to the 47 yard line on the play as Nuke Dukem is dead on the play for the Evils. Waylon Hurts will check into the game at quarterback. They will line up first down and 10 from the pistol. Hurts will throw. Painwell's got it. And he gets five yards up to the 36. They will line up in the pistol again. Hurts throws. Painwell's got it. He's to the 30, breaks a tackle, makes a big miss. And he is down at the 21 yard line. As Claret Kilsom is injured on the play for the Oilers. Yes, there are two Claret Kilsoms in this. First down and 10. Hertz will throw. There's Painwell on the backfield and he can only gain five yards on the play. Second down and five. Vile Slanders in the game at running back. Dukem will throw. There's Goddard. Makes a couple men miss. And he is down at the three-yard line. First down and goal. Hurts. Will throw. There's Goddard for a touchdown. Evils. And they extend their lead once again, ladies and gentlemen. They will line up to go for two. Hurts 
Will throw! Sunders has got it! And the lead is 27 to nothing. Snake Hilly will kick off now for the Evils. And it's a good deep kick. Sends Gorgonzola to the 2. He's to the 20, to the 25. And he can't make it to the 30 as he is taken down at the 28-yard line. First down and 10 for the Oilers to start the second half. Kills, will throw. He's looking deep. He's got braided crooks. And he is down at the 32-yard line. But there's a penalty flag down. And this will go against the Oilers. And that will push them back 10 yards on the play. As Heinous Kills is injured on the play for the Oilers. And they will attack the ref, which will incur another penalty flag. And this will push them back another 15 yards. And so that will make it first down and 35 from their own three yard line. They'll line up in the pistol. Rolls Royce throws and it's deflected and incomplete. As he was looking for Brandon Crooks, he could not find him. And that sets up a second down and 35. They'll line up in the pistol again. Asseler to throw. And it's caught by Crooks. And he can only gain six yards on the play up to the nine yard line. Man in motion on third down and 29. Rolls Royce to the outside. And he gets taken down by Slameron Slayward after a gain of four. They will line up to go for it on fourth down and 25. And timeout evils. Now they'll punt. Tyrant Evil or Tyrant Eagle is back deep to return this punt. It's a whale of a punt. And it goes back into the end zone for a touchback. First down and ten, they will line up in the pistol. Hurts against a blitz. Painwell! He's got it! And he gains five yards up to the 25 yard line. Painwell in motion clears the backfield for Hertz. Hertz will throw. And he's got Reaper who makes a man miss. He's to the 40. And he is at the 42 yard line for an Evil's first down. But there's going to be a penalty flag down. And this will go against the Evil's. And so that will push them back. And they will attack the ref, which will incur another penalty flag. And that will push them back another 15 yards on the play. That will push them back to their own one yard line. Second down and 29 from their own one. Hurts throws Painwell. And he gets 16 of it back as Menace Painwell is dead on the play for the Evils. And that will be the end of the third quarter as it is Evils 27, Oilers nothing. Vile Slanders will check into the game at running back. He gets it on the pitch. Slanders breaks a few tackles. He's still going down the sideline. And he goes out of bounds as he is injured on the play for the Evils. 
And so the evils have got it back. First down, or the evils have got it. First down and 10 at the 45 of the Oilers. But in the game at running back, he'll get the catch. He's running to the 30, to the 25. And he is down at the 23 yard line. And the evils are going right down the field on the Oilers. Hurts will end it off to him. And he's to the 10, to the five. And he is down at the four yard line as he eluded defenders there for a huge gain. First down and goal from the four. Hurts, and it's intercepted. Monty Bronson Jr.'s got it, running the other way. Hurts can't take him down. And Manny and Monty Bronson stops the Evils from scoring again. And the Oilers have got it back at their own 36. They will line up in the pistol. Kills will throw. Chris Gromley fumbles. Kevin Bronson's got it. And the Evils have got it right back hey, on offense. <laughs> As Slim Run, Slayward, All Dead Sith, and Virus Decay are all dead on the play for the Evils. And Chris Grumley is dead for the Oilers. Three oh one to go in the fourth. Hurts will throw against a blitz. Reapers got it up to the 40 yard line of the Oilers. And Devil Chew it and Tremon Sight are dead for the evil or for the Oilers, excuse me. Hurts will throw. And he'll be sacked way back as Christian Berserky sacks him way back. Second down and 24. Hurts. There's Vile Slenders. And he fumbles the football. Mashik Ballins. And he's got it at the 32. And Vile Slenders is dead, and Dementia Scythe is injured for the Evils. They will line up in the hurry up. Empty back shotgun for the Oilers. Kills will throw. And it's deflected and incomplete. They will go at the hurry up, empty back, Rolls Royce has got it! And he gets taken down for a loss on the play, and that will bring up the two minute warning now. Empty back shotgun, they'll run the hurry up again. And it's caught! But it'll be short as Hiccup Gorsuch's got it. Timeout, Oilers. As they line up to go for it on fourth down and one. Empty back shotgun as they line up in the hurry up. Kills. Looking deep. He's got Rolls Royce. And he's got it. First down and goal at the one. As Heinous kills is injured for the Oilers. Timeout, Oilers. Tyrod has to learn the game at quarterback. He will throw, and he's got a touchdown. No more shutout. I was I was hoping for a shutout, and I and I will not get it. As Rolls Royce is dead for the Oilers, and Branded Crooks is injured as well for the Oilers.
They will line up for the extra point. It's up and it's good. They will line up for the onside kick. Creston Bleed has it. Eagle can't take him down. And he gets help from Whalen Reaper. No, that was not Reaper. But they take him down. And they have 121 to go. They will line up in the hurry up. Empty back shotgun. Asler to throw. And it's deflected and incomplete. As he was looking for softy hiccups there. And he could not find him on the play. Empty back shotgun again for the Oilers. Asler to throw. Looking to the end zone. And it's deflected and incomplete. He was looking for Hiccup Gorsett again. Empty back shotgun again. Softy Hiccups. And he gets to the two yard line. As they will call a timeout. With 52 seconds to go in the game. Empty back shotgun now. Once again. Tyrod Asler the handoff. Softy Hiccups is stopped short. Softy Hiccups is stopped short. Once again. Third down and ten. Softy Hiccups fumbles. Tyrod Asler is taken down by Maude Mavis for a sack on the play. As Softy Hiccups is dead on the play for the Oilers. Fourth down and goal from the 10. They will go with the hurry up. Kills in the game. And it's intercepted! Grieve and Smelson! And he will not run it out of the end zone. As that will go as a touchback. And that will put an exclamation point. On this one, ladies and gentlemen. 11 seconds to go. Hurts! And he'll be sacked. Time out. Evils. Shakeup Farton gets the sack. Hurts will throw. Heavy blitz. There's Bot. For a short gain, and it will be a timeout for the Evils. One second to go in the game. They will line up in the pistol, but shifts out as a receiver. Hurts will throw. There's Butt, and he gains four yards, and that's it. The Evils will win, as he coincidentally got tackled by Claret Kilsom. And so the Evils once again win. What are they now? Seven and two? And that's your final. Evils 27, Oilers 7. I kind of went a little bit conservative in the second half trying to get a shutout, I'm not going to lie, but ultimately it didn't work. But yeah, my winning streak is back up to three. So that's always good. Waylon Hurts gets upgraded to All Pro 2. Uh, 
I want him to be able to run plays out of the gun. So of course increases intelligence. Running back. Vile slenders. Increase that. Rolston bot. Increase those stats to make it an 88. Menace Painwell, who is an absolute menace. I will see myself out now. Um, Whale and Reaper, downfield blocking. Dementia Scythe. Is up to an 88. Oh, it's jumping vertical. That's what's so low. Bruise receivers, Goddard. Played so well. Up to a 67. Now the lineman. Favorite upgrade of the whole video. 93 overall now. That's right, it's triple. So I need 15 to upgrade them. Ninety-two overall. <laughs> All Dead Sith and Slammer on Slayward both died today. Which is a real shame. Because basically when my whole starting defense died is when they were able to score. And that was only one time as well, so... I mean, I did say that the defense was light years ahead compared to the first time I played them in Season 1 to now, and that shows it. Coverbacks, yeah, three of them died. Heaven Bronson, he has been a very underrated uh, signing I've had. He's made huge plays the last two weeks. It has made me very, very happy. Now an 81 from an 80. Graven Smelson. Gets to be upgraded to a 65 as well. Well, not as well, but he gets to be upgraded as well to a 65. Virus Decay. Oh, he doesn't get upgraded. That's right, his XP costs are doubled. I forgot. Dying Ghoul's XP costs are tripled, so I'm not touching him right now. Cleric kills him.
is now an 83 overall. Mod Mavis. From a 72. Just to a 73. But he got faster. Bustin' Heavens. I'm not gonna touch him this week. Rotney McPloud. Gets upgraded to a 74. And so, Snake Elliot. Got the field goal and the uh, two point conversion. Did I only try the one with him? I think I might have. Upgrade Tyrant Eagle's toughness. A Buzzkirk Chumley. I believe I had this way back in Season 1 as well. Here's a new one. Our starting quarterback's therapist has, deci has decided to eschew any ethics and share every dark secret Waylon Hurts shared with her during his career. It's illegal but no one can find her to stop this. She's really playing this out. We have no choice but to pay her what she's asking for. Otherwise, everyone will, will learn what a Buzzkirk Chumley is and will never live it down. Trust me, you don't want to know. And uh, with that, we move to 7-2. and two. I doubt I'm going to see playoffs, but who knows. Schedule, four games left. Who knows, I might see playoffs. And let's see. No playoffs yet. The Carcass City Creeps have clinched their division. And the Purple Mutants Eaters have taken the lead in their division back from the Motor City Maniacs. As the Blitzburg Sealheads are god awful on defense as far or er, on offense, excuse me. I believe. No, they're not awful. Mmm. Let's uh, let's sort this. Touchdowns. When did I score my other touchdown? I only remember scoring one touchdown on defense, and that was last week. Oh, that's right. I scored against the... Uh, uh, the Los Angeles Damned on defense. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, because I scored a punt return, too. And I scored on all three phases. That's right. That was an awesome, awesome game, by the way. If you haven't watched that, watch that game. It's amazing. Wow, the the Colts have the worst defense in the league.
The cult seven. The uh, the Colts have a decent rushing defense, but god awful against the pass. So that will. Uh, I'm looking ahead though, but yeah, I'm going to play the. Uh, Steelheads next at home. Uh, so I played them three seasons in a row. Uh, the season one, week one game was on the road. And then the Mayhem Bowl last year, or last season, was a neutral site game, of course. Well... It wasn't played at either our stadium or theirs, so it was neutral site. And then season three game, get to play in Philadelphia. So, get to play the, uh, the All-State matchup. Next week. Uh, I... Well, in terms of these standings and looking at the playoff picture, it looks like the wild card in the Mutants Conference is probably going to come out of the corporate division. And... Uh, Did I just have a bye week? No. Okay. Carry on. The Hexon Oilers are leading their division as the Insane Cults are on a three-game skid right now. They looked to be in control of their division, but then again... The independent division in the Monster Conference looked like it was going to be a decent race about four or five weeks ago. And last week, the Full Metal Mayhem clinched that division. So, But yeah, it looks like... Oh, I already said that the wild card where it's going to come out of the Mutant Conference. So, I think... I don't believe... Well, I think I definitely need to win my division in order to get a playoff berth this year. I don't think I could get in as a wild card this year like I did last year. Or, no, no, no. I, I didn't get in as a wild card last year. The Hellboys got in as a wild card last year. Sorry. Sorry. That probably seemed confusing to somebody. So I apologize. Wow, the 40 Nightmares actually won a game a couple weeks ago. Impressive. The Midway Mutants at 2 and 7 could still win their division. That's how bad the independent division in the Mutant Conference is. It's just really, really bad. But yeah, so I guess Carcass City and the Full Metal Mayhem will battle it out for the number one seed in the Monster Conference. I have already played the Full Metal Mayhem this season, and I have yet to play the Carcass City Creeps. So, the game against the Carcass City Creeps, if it is... 
a battle in which I can either win my division, well, where I can win my division, and or the Karka City Creeps get the number one seed if they win, I would flex, quote-unquote flex that, to Monday night. So that would be a, you guys would know at the end of the week 13 game, or the week 12 game next week, uh, if the week 14 game is going to be a Monday night game or not. If it has those stakes, Monday night. If it doesn't, just a Sunday game. Nothing major. But this what I'm deciding here and now is that if a game late in the season has big ramifications like that, and I haven't already predetermined that it's a Thursday night game, Monday night game, that's just what I'm deciding here and now. Get get mad at it. I, I don't care. Uh, it, it will just make the game feel even more important to me if it is on a Monday because I don't usually upload these videos on Monday night. The Thursday night games have felt special in that regard. And I'm not going to lie. Having a weekend, well, having a full weekend to prepare for the following week does kind of help. Uh, <laughs> of course, on a short week, I don't get that, and it works in reverse, but... If, if I'm on a crunch, like I was... Uh, Week four to week six, that's fine with me. I don't mind. But I will tell you, the two games where I have played on a Sunday following a Thursday night game, I have lost. So maybe I don't need to play on Thursday night anymore. That's just a thought. But yeah, so that will pretty much do it for me today, though. But yeah, once again, um, the Week 13 game is a Monday night game. And the Week 14 game may, may be a Monday night game, depending on the stakes at hand. And so yes, guys, that will do it. For this Evil's Dynasty video and till next Evil's Dynasty video, week 12, hosting the Blitzburg Steelheads, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching.